Welcome to Electrical Stuff. In this video, we are going to learn about the earth throat selection. Which earth throat is best, stainless steel or copper rod? Let us uh, watch the video till the end to understand the concepts. So, uh, fundamentals of everything. What, why we need everything? Physically, I'm explaining you a little bit. Safety from the shock, provide low impedance path fault currents, and create equipotential surface at the time of fault, shielding of electromagnetic field, reference to production system, efficient energy dilution system for a lightning system. These are the fundamentals. In, in, throughout the world, we have a different kind of soils. We have a red soils and uh, brownish soils, as well as forest soils and mountain area soils. And if, if you go to the ice areas, there is a different kind of soil over there. So there in throughout the world, there is a different type of soils. According to the soil, you have to be choose correct material uh, correct earthing earth rod materials, earth rod materials. So, in order to protect your earthing systems. So, according to the earthing system, uh, according to the, what are the standards in the earthing systems? BS7430, IEEE standard 80, IEC BSEN62305, IEC BSEN62561. These are the standards. So earthing system, according to the IC62305 part three, uh, there are the basically two type of earthing systems are there. One is type A and type B. Type A system, we have a horizontal system and vertical system at throats. So in this case, type A system, what will happen? We drive the earth throats into the uh, ground and throughout uh, these earth throats are interconnected through horizontal system. Uh, in type B system, we have a foundation netting system and ring netting system. In this case, instead of the earth rods, we use a foundation as a earthing systems. And this, uh, these are connected, this earthing is connected uh, through horizontally. This type of system called type B system. In UAE, most of the Gulf areas, we are using a type A system. So earth rod, earth rod uh, selection, earth electrode, what type of earth electrode we have to be choose? According to the BS743 uh, standards say, says that uh, these are the details. Just I ex explain you the basic concept, what is here. So uh, basically earth, earth rod material should be either copper conductors or copper clad, asthenic steel rods or cast iron plates or steel piles. These type of material you can use as a at rods. So basic concept, it should resistance to corrosion in the type of soil. So the material, while you are choosing the earth rod, it should not be corroded. When earth rod is corroded, then there is a no more protection because uh, in the case of uh, fault current it should be go through the ground area but in this case if your earth rod is corrosion there is a no contact between the your system and the earth so basically we have to be very careful while selecting the earth rods so how to calculate the resistance of the earth rod according to bs7430 standards earth rod formula rr is equal to rho by 2 pi l into log e 8 l by d minus 1 in this formula where rho is equal to resistivity of soil l is equal to length of electrode d is the diameter of the rod basically these three parameters will decide the earth electrode earth rod resistance so uh, in this in this slide i explain about the there is a comparison between copper galvanized steel asthenic steel or mild steel uh, there is a what will be happen according to the soil parameters? What uh, type of soil parameter? Resistivity, rho C, redux potential MV, and moisture content, dissolved salts and chlorides, and acidic, neutral, alkaline, organic acids. So it should be uh, what will happen and uh, in this condition, if the, I explain you uh, here, acidic nature less than six, six to eight or greater than eight what will happen our material. So if there is a alkaline organic acids are there in the earth. So what will happen? See here GG indicates corrosion resistance generally unaffected. And G indicates corrosion resistance only slightly reduced. N indicates corrosion resistance moderately reduced. And N indicates resistance considerably reduced. So if, if you, you got a G and GG is more, then it is a good a throat. So if you see this uh, pH condition or what will happen, 
see i am mostly i'm comparison copper copper it will be n less than 6 if it is a nature uh, earth resistance acidic nature less than 6 n and uh, galvanized is nn and astenitic steel g it is better and mild steel n so it's less than 6 uh, this one astenitic steel is good and 6 to 8 uh, every everything is good because this 6 to 8 is a normal condition greater than 8 then copper is good and galvanized um, uh, little good and uh, gg is very good and mild steel also good if there is a uh, acid a dissolve salts and chlorides are there what will happen then indicates corrosion resistance moderately reduced galvanized steel is also moderately reduced and astenitic steel slightly reduced and mild steel moderately reduced if a moisture content less than 10 then copper is uh, very good unaffected Galvanic steel unaffected, austenitic steel unaffected, here also unaffected. If moisture content 10 to 80 percent there, then copper uh, slightly reduced, and then uh, it is moderately reduced. Galvanic steel and austenitic steel uh, slightly reduced, and mild steel moderately reduced. If you see all those parameters, which material is good? There is austenitic steel is very good. And after that, copper is good, then mild steel, then galvanized steel. So based upon this, you have to be select your earth electrode. So uh, you acidic steel, nothing but a stainless steel. Stainless steel, you, you have a uh, different type of plates. In this, mostly few suppliers, few are using SS304. It should not be used because it have a high carbon content if there is a high carbon content there then it will not uh, show these values so you have to be used ss316 it is a very good material so comparing all these parameters if you are comparing copper and galvanic steel astenitic steel mild steel the best material is astenitic steel rods those materials are very good for earth electrodes I'm I'm seeing it. Uh, I'm showing you a test parameters. How uh, what will happen uh, when it is a aging test done, as well as lightning current generator. So aging test done before. These are the aluminium and the stainless steel uh, and copper and uh, different. And this is sorry. This is aluminium. This is copper. And this is stainless steel. This is galvanized coating. Gal uh, galvanized steel so what will happen after aging test done then see this you feel every material is corroded except the stainless steel it is lightly corroded so if you are uh, if you want your rating system long run you have to be choose stainless steel material according to the diva and Ed diva ADDC standards it says that if you are using the stainless steel rods, it is good. And as well as DIVA also, it is allowed. I think system shall consist copper conductors, copper clad, astenitic steel rods. So according to the DIVA and uh, ADDC, as well as SIVA, other standards, it will be allow you to use stainless steel rods. So uh, comparing uh, all those parameters, if you are going for the stainless steel, it will reduce your cost as well as Comparing the copper, stainless steel rods are very cheap. So overall, your system will be less uh, costly. Thanks for watching.